Music, art, drama, historical presentations, all of which give depth and understanding to what the classics are to not only our own institution, but to civilization in the Western world. Built in the 1960s as a result of a contribution from Maria and Kostas Maliotis, the Maliotis Cultural Center was built with the mission of advancing Greek culture and language. It is Kostas and Maris Maliotis' home. Under this home, the whole homogenia is getting served with different kinds of activities and events. Three years ago, Helena College Holy Cross was able to regain control of the operations of the facility, we then commenced a very intentional three to five year plan to renovate the facility that had fallen into significant disrepair. The Maliotis Cultural Center is a beautiful two-story building clad in all-white pentelic marble, the same marble that was used in the Parthenon. The atrium is tall and spacious, yet welcoming. It is the perfect place to host an exhibit, a conference, or a lecture. With a seating capacity of 340, our theater can hold musical performances, Greek tragedies, conferences, seminars, and so much more. We're here in front of the brand new LED wall, which was one of the many major capital improvements we've made to this facility this past year, both externally and internally. We were then able to use the facility for our students in ways that it had not been used before. As a virtual student center, including its use as classrooms, a location for student events, a, a casual library, and actually even a cafe neo. The library is one of my favorite places at the Cultural Center. It's so cozy and warm. It has a great atmosphere. It's just a great place to grab a book or a cup of coffee, study, hang out with friends. There's no place like it. Don't forget to stop by the Maliotis Cafe Neo. It's like a little corner of Greece right here in Boston. I'm really excited seeing the center creating affiliations with local universities like Harvard, BU, BC Fletcher. It's amazing that we have been able to create affiliations with Benaki Museum and Yenadios Library. It's exciting for me to see so many people on a daily basis visit the facility, not just the students that are here on campus, uh, as well as the faculty and staff, but every day there's an event, there's permanent exhibits here, there's ongoing activity, both as not only as a social area, but also important as a, a place of uh, holding uh, meetings, uh, dances, all types of cultural events and activities. It's such a blessing and joy coming on the center on a daily basis. I feel like there is a purpose and ethos. The center is full of life from eight o'clock in the morning until 10 p.m in the evening. We have developed relationship with presenters both in New York and Athens to continue to grow and broaden our offerings. We truly need the full support of our entire community. We've only scratched the surface of how great this place can be as a vibrant Hellenic cultural center for not only us here in the community but for all over the world and so we're looking forward to, to people coming here visiting us uh, and really experiencing what truly makes us Hellenes. His Eminence, Archbishop Elpidophoros, refers to Maliotic Cultural Center as Convos Hellenismu ke Melisi Orthodoxias, the center of Hellenism and Orthodoxy. Cultural Center is an not only important asset for us to preserve the past, but also to perpetuate the future. I want to believe that Costas and Mary Maliotis, they are proud how we continued their legacy. Our vision is to be seen as not only the cultural center of campus, or of Boston, or of New England for that matter, but of the entire United States, to be the starting point of national tours. Our potential is endless. <laughs>